The Sacramento Kings have a very tough but very important decision to make. They currently have two very good young point guards on the roster with De'Aaron Fox and Tyrese Halliburton. Both have great upside. Both are great players and are likely going to be all-star caliber players in their own right. However, the decision they make, the resulting trade, and their long-term success is very, very much reliant on this decision and how they can get assets from the moving forward. Let's talk about Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox. Let's talk about the decision the Sacramento Kings have to make, what I would personally do, and what looks like will be likely moving forward. And so let's just put it this way. Tyrese Halliburton and De'Aaron Fox, at their best, are not going to be able to play together. Sure, you can make it work. One can be off ball. Tyrese Halliburton can play a little bit more off the ball as he's a better three-point shooter than De'Aaron Fox is. They can make it work. Sure. And they'd be fine with it. Aaron Fox and Cyrus Halliburton would still be fine players. Sacramento would still be fine. But ultimately, these two players in of themselves are not going to succeed at their best when playing together. And the Sacramento Kings have more potential upside from a roster building standpoint if they move one of these pieces and look to add talent elsewhere. And here's why I say that. Aaron Fox and Cyrus Halliburton are both best on the ball. Aaron Fox isn't really an off-ball guy. Uh, he can get the ball as a secondary playmaker and attack the rim a little bit off of some other dribble penetration. But De'Aaron Fox is not a good three-point shooter. He's not someone who's going to be sitting off the ball, hitting catch-and-shoot threes at a high rate. That's just not his game, and, and he is also a fine playmaker. That, in tune, especially with that poor three-point shooting, just leads De'Aaron Fox to be much better on the ball. Now, Tyrese Halliburton can play off the ball well. He is a fairly good three-point shooter, but I don't look at Cyrus Halliburton on the offensive end and consider him this three-point shooter. That's not what I consider Cyrus Halliburton to be. He does it well, but I don't look at Cyrus Halliburton and say, oh, look, his main thing on the offensive end, especially in the long term, is three-point shooting. I don't. He's going to be an on-ball guy who can create a lot of good offense for himself and others. He can create his own shot. He can play make extremely well and create space and good looks for others. That's what I see from Tyrese Halliburton moving forward resulting in both of these guys needing the ball to be at their most effective on the offensive end. Ultimately, that's just not going to happen if they're playing together in Sacramento. And De'Aaron Fox, very speedy, one of the fastest players in the NBA, likes to get downhill, attack, finish at the rim, can create dimmel penetration. He's just much more of a score first guy than Tyrese Halliburton is, in my opinion, as far as what we're going to see from him long term. De'Aaron Fox can play make fine, but it's never really been his primary thing. I see De'Aaron Fox and I see a guy who's very good athletically, is solid on the defensive end, can attack the rim, finish at the rim, can play make a bit, but isn't ever going to be some elite playmaker in the NBA. That's what I see when I see De'Aaron Fox. When I look at someone like Tyrese Halliburton, Another on-ball guy, but I don't see him as a score-first mentality. I've never seen that at any point in time in his career, given it is only but a season and a half. He's always been someone who is a team guy, fits in well with any system, is very unselfish. He play makes well. His passing has always been very good, a very team-centric in that sense. His vision and playmaking has already taken a big step forward from year one to year two as he's gotten the ball more to his hands and more pick and roll scenarios and more two man scenarios with Rashawn Holmes or the other bigs in Sacramento. And he just looks to me like someone who has elite playmaker potential who can be averaging seven, eight, nine assists per game in the right situation and creating a lot of offense for himself and for others within the Sacramento offense. In saying that, there's nothing wrong with Aaron Fox's game compared to Tyrese Halliburton's game, but I do believe that Tyrese Halliburton is going to be more beneficial in terms of an overall team impact on an offense. I think De'Aaron Fox is going to be a great scorer. He's going to put up a lot of 20 plus point per game seasons. He already has a few of those, but I just see Tyrese Halliburton as someone who can create a lot more for an offense on their own, whether it be playmaking uh, and then throw that in with the shot creation. I think he's going to be a lot better for the overall team success of an offense and De'Aaron Fox is, where De'Aaron Fox is a little bit more score attack the rim. Tyrese Halliburton offers more spacing. I think will offer better playmaking while also offering good scoring on his own. It's also worth noting that a report has come out over the last couple of days that the Kings are now open to making a De'Aaron Fox or Tyrese Halliburton available in the right trade. 
it is worth noting that this report has come from a Philadelphia 76ers reporter. So the law, the, it, it's a little bit iffy on to how legit that report is. But the point being is that, I mean, De'Aaron Fox and Seattle Halliburton have been involved in Ben Simmons rumors for a while. And it's not to say that any trade involving one of these two young point guards has to be for Ben Simmons. But I don't think it's out of the realm to consider the fact that one of these two will get moved. And I don't think it's out of the realm to think that De'Aaron Fox is going to be that guy that gets moved more so than Tyrese Halliburton, given the fact Tyrese Halliburton's younger, given the fact that De'Aaron Fox is already on his extension, which makes his salary much easier to match with other big salaries they would likely look to bring in in a potential trade for one of these guys. And I think Tyrese Halliburton is just better for the overall impact and benefit of an offense of a team. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you guys think that the Sacramento Kings will make a trade. And if they do, whether they would trade De'Aaron Fox or Tyrese Halliburton. As I've kind of shown in this video, I'm more on the sense of De'Aaron Fox will get moved. I think Tyrese Halliburton is going to be the better player long term for the overall impact of the Sacramento Kings team. And it may not be at the deadline this year, but I do think within the next 6 to 12 months, we are going to see De'Aaron Fox get traded out of Sacramento. Especially given the fact he has taken a bit of a step back. From his play last season that is my thoughts on the second row kings moving forward between Aaron fox and cyrus halliburton and any potential trades let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below what the Kings should do moving forward thank you guys for watching hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace